Uh, I'm Hajime. I'm talking about mobile game development in Go. First, let me show the game in Go in action. <laughs> Thank you. How was this? This is real. We achieved a real game development, a mobile game development in Go. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> let, me see, uh, let me introduce myself. I'm Hajime Hoshi from Tokyo. I'm an amateur game developer in Go. I'm also a member of Go4JS, which is a transpiler from Go to JavaScript and uh, GoGL, which is an uh, OpenGL binding in Go. Uh, I have developed uh, Ebiten, which is a very simple 2D game library, and uh, I'm also developed an uh, open source part uh, in the games. Ebiten is a very simple 2D game library in Go. It is hosted in GitHub, and uh, there is also a website, ebiten.org. And Ebiten games can work on multi-platforms, like desktops, Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and FreeBSD. And uh, the game can work on mobile, Android, and iOS. And uh, the games can work even on web browsers, thanks to Go4JS and WebAssembly. The Bears Restaurant is the uh, most representative games of our games. This is mainly developed by, uh, this, is de this was developed by, mainly by Daigo. And this was released in February 2019, and this reached 400 kilo downloads. I think this is the most popular game in Go. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> this game was featured by uh, application stores like uh, Play Stores and Play Store and the Apple Store all over the world. And this game won Google Play Indie Festival 2019 Japan Top 3 Games. Yay! <laughs> uh, let me uh, explain how, how to make it. Uh, we utilized Go Mobile. Go Mobile is a Go compiler for Android and iOS. Go Mobile has two modes. Uh, Go Mobile builds out of a single application like APK and APP. On the other hand, Go Mobile bind out of the shared library. Go Mobile build is much easier to use, but we adopted Go Mobile bind. It is because we needed to utilize advertisements, IAP, uh, in our purchases, and analytics, and other native APIs. So we needed some Java or Objective C code to handle native layers. This is an overview of our applications. The applications consist of two views. The op GL views, which is managed by Ebiten, and, the, and there is an advertisement banner. This is very simple. And inside, the, application consists, the applications consist of two layers. One is a native layer, and the other is a Go layer. Native layer is written in Java or, or Objective-C, and this handles advertisement in app purchases, uh, in app purchases and other native APIs. On the other hand, Go layer is written in pure Go. This defines the game logic, and this uh, calls graphics and audio APIs, which is a feature defined in Ebiten. These two layers communicate via functions exposed by Go Mobile. In our game development experience, uh, there are good things and bad things. One of the good things is the, uh, the application run uh, applications worked very fast, and uh, compiling runs very fast. So we got a, uh, sorry, we achieved a very good high performance. And on the, another thing is high portability. Uh, we could develop the games worked in, on desktops, so we could uh, we could test applications on desktops, and we could release the games for mobiles. And there are there were also bad things. One of the bad things is a lack of libraries, especially for multimedia. 
for example, there is no open type parser in Go. And another thing is there was not an MP3 decoder, so I needed to port myself. <laughs> another thing is, another bad thing is lack of know-how. For example, we wanted to use Crash Analytics, which is a Crash reporter for mobile platforms, but it was really hard to use. So we needed some hack. But unfortunately, there were no other people doing similar things, so we needed to find solutions by ourselves. <laughs> so developing Go mobile games is still challenging, but a lot of fun, thanks to the nice tools and thanks to the nice language specifications. I'm really happy we could prove development games in Go is feasible. I'd appreciate your contribution to Go uh, open source community like everything. Thank you very much.